play. They're playing. Ignite coming out. Quake for already getting caught. Why he does have the arrow. Bit. Arrow will come through. Well, Quake was uh, gonna die here. He's dead, I think. Yeah, I believe that's dead hero. Mike will get the first blood. He didn't have a fairy fire, so easy kill for them. Good arrow. Good. Good stun or good slow. Definitely helping mid lane a lot. Sand King down bottom though, they're setting up on him. Magic Missile, they do have Soul Assumption now, the Grave Shield is there, he still has that Burrow Strike, here comes the Primal Spring, so another slow will happen, the Soul Assumption will get the kill. And that is just an assault from numerous fronts, and when you get hit by that Primal Spring, you're like, well, I'm probably dead now. Good, good stuff. Yeah, this lane gets so much stronger when they hit too, once they get the Soul Assumption up. Uh, Monkey King's next build too. Monkey King's one of those heroes that, he's kind of like Earth Spirit, you know, where he wants all his skills. This dive is... A heavy dive from Garter. Gas will come out. Boogie might be in trouble. Maledic dropped as well. Jingu Mastery and won't be able to save his life. So that TP does not work out. And a pretty good dive from Proto. Gas leap. Boogie's just trying to harass. No stun available. Is he available. still going to get him? Overload. Overload proc. Jingu Mastery. They are diving the Fairy Fire. They need two more auto attacks. The Primal Spring is ready. Boogie, can he go for it? No, it's not. He just oh jumps in the tree and gets the auto attack. Salve will come through, which saves his life. My god. He and he's gonna steal the bounty rune and get us level 3. Damn, dude, that's... Oh, god. How do you deal with that? It's not like he didn't even use his primal spring, he just dropped to the ground and got the kill. Hey, he dies through the leap. Oh, Cheshire Cat, no! Like Cheshire Cat. Oh no, the Burrow Strike, that's not good. Oh my god, Boogie. Oh, there's a sh the there's shrine. No shrine. On cool there's down. no shrine! He just needs two auto attacks. Oh, oh my Boogie god. just gets a solo kill. Come, Come with, with me. me. Next. He's got Jigu Master, no man. You don't want to fight this. Get out of here. Run. God, Boogie's actually owning. But I'm not sure if they know he plays the ward there. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. A lot of heroes from Podota coming in towards bottom lane. Oh, they really are. They got a smoke. It's a three hero gang squad. Dark Cab looking for the Burrow Strike. Grave Chill can come out. There's the cast coming through. This dive is a bit hefty. Maldic will miss, and they need to be careful. Magic Missile comes out. Soul Assumption might get this kill on the Cheshire Cat. Sandstorm not in time. Doesn't matter. They still get the kill on the Vengeful Spirit. So good dive coming out. But here comes Boogie. I don't think he can find anything. I think they're just going to back. If he was closer to Cheshire Cat, it's maybe a kill he can get. But all right. He's a ways away, though. Vengeful Spirit is a very uh, momentum-based carry. Mm. Like, you definitely do not want to fall behind with this sort of hero. Oh, God. Wow, what just happened? I can't believe he was All in the right. jungle. Disaster. Alright, I'm triggered. Double damage on Mike. Picking up the double kill. You see Cheshire Cat, if they want to jump, they can. It looks like they're not going to make that go. They don't know if anybody's behind Insania as well as Cheshire Cat. It's a very dangerous position to be in. Boogie, although getting some good stuff going, let's see if he can get something here. Primal Spring does connect. He did have a stun. He misses it, however, as the Burrow Strike comes out. Cask Malady coming through. Magic Missile, they want to get in Sanya. Another Burrow Strike ready at about five. Arrow coming through. It's under Boogie. Starstorm brings one down, and they should get Arrow as well with the Maldic ticking away. And one last tick will do the job, and he'll fall. Now Honda getting Burrow Struck as well, and Mike rotating in for another double kill. He's already almost got his point booster ready to go, and it's now eight to three in the score here, Brax. Yep, I had no faith in the uh, Cormorana, but this guy is only big time. Trixie getting stunned up, Blade Fury, but he's not going to fall, maybe not. Ignites there. Blade Fury, the surge wasn't enough. I guess he was stunned during the surge. Now ball letting in. If they can get Garter here, it would be great. He has Omni Slash Quick, but needs to be careful, and they won't chase any further. The Healing Ward was taken out by uh, the Epi down bottom. Attack. But Cheshire Arrow will find again. Vengeful Spirit Strike. in the bottom lane. Hani really can do only the... You just watch at this point as Cheshire Cat comes even bigger as Mike gets up to his Aghanim Scepter. Right now setting up potentially for an arrow on Dequikva. We'll see if he can find it. It's not going to be the easiest one in the world. Swap on bottom. Cheshire Cat's in some trouble. Yeah, stunned up. Boogie gets the kill. Or at least helps get the kill with the Souls up here. Top lane, Trixie has surged himself and is probably dead, I would say. He's looking pretty dead. Yeah. Surged right in the middle. As that blade figure came out, the, uh, the Fire Blast made sure he wasn't moving anywhere. All right, well, when they get Cheshire Cat, they lose Trixie top. Radiance top Not great. DP to two. Stun's gonna come out. He has the uh, Primal Spring if he needs it. Three dance. This is the are up. Here's the ball lightning. They want at least one kill out of this. And come with me while he's tanking, even with the raindrops. There's no way he can survive all of these heroes. But they don't get the big prize, which is Garter. CTP's elsewhere. They already have Mikae pushing mid, and they're, they're looking at bottom to take as well. So trades across the map potentially here. Yeah. 
that we'll see. It looks like an MP and IP are going to try to push with this fist situation right now. Yep, Aero realizes that the opposite team is making the exact same movement. Gets out of it before dying. Aggressive play mid. Arrow. Leaps in for the arrow. Yeah, he missed it. Starstorm bringing him down low. Two more auto attacks. Should get the kill. One more and they'll find it. Meanwhile, Deathport pushes Trixie back. They were all positioned to try to get that kill. So VK pretty much finds is that, you know, Nip chain TP top to defend the tower and go for the push. Just dives mid lane. Mm -hmm. Oh, Trixie not again, man. Oh, oh, he stuns during the epicenter, straight. and now they get the primal dance off. Come with me, get a die to one auto attack. Jeshire Cat might be next, and they have Koigma jumping in. They don't have the vision. Sandstorm is still there. Burrow strike away. Overload. They really want this kill. They're going to find it, but now Koigma has to man fight up against BK. He needs to be careful. He has double damage room, but needs to back up now. Two quick kills. Oh, Boogie with a long range stun, and Trixie with the back wall coming out. And they've been waiting for his blink. All right. So, very good. Swap back in Swap the stun. Mid. They have the Wukong's command coming out. He'll leap away, however, but Magic Missile is there. Soul Sun shoots ready, and this is a kill. Big one. It's the top network here going down again. And IP turning around right at the same time they did in the last game. Uh, they still need a lot more, but they are going to stop Mikae from getting straight into that Ags. And Era yep. is in a compromising position. Luckily, is the Vistage Familiars to help out. Cast will come through onto the familiars, and they will probably die. Epicenter getting channeled again, and uh, it looks to be potentially useful as Hani's getting blown away. All right, throwing Hani to the dogs. <laughs> yeah, he just That's just in. how it is, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do this. Your life doesn't mean as much as mine. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh. That's uh, a creep wave bottom, and. Uh, Maybe some extra creeps for Mike is an Agatum Scepter done. And with that, that's huge. Oh, uh, they're wrapping in, trying to gank. Well, Boogie they see has Boogie been here. scouted out. He, they, they ping the, the tree. He's going to avoid the arrow, but get fire blasted. As well as cast, but still, he might actually... Nah, he's dead. Battle isn't over yet. TP's oh, is receiving the right clicks. Yeah, he's probably going to die here. He's going to drop his death ward only to get back even. But now back down. Air coming in. Just shower cat. Good bro strike across the tree line. They have this is familiar drop in about two seconds. Like you brought up in the uh, draft earlier, Storm very strong for the game. Yeah. Surge on an arrow. They're looking for the swap play here. Yep, they're going to find it. Just shower cat has stunned. I don't think he can all. Ani gets back in with a soul assumption. I was thinking that enemy shrine is at 100%. Full said. Yeah, Boogie set up on mid, looking for uh, the jump on Come With Me. He's gonna find it. Come With Me as tanky as he is, he's gonna get stunned up. They have the Jinga Mastery and the Vistage Familiar drop. And IP have really started to turn this around. Again. Yep. Cheshire. I don't really know how much this Blink Dagger means for Sanking, because uh, Monkey King grants so much vision when he's sitting on top of trees. So it's going to be really hard for him to get an epi off outside of smoke. Oh. Quick with the solo kill in mid. You didn't even have to Thanks to the uh, arcane ring. TP's bottom. Oh, he's TP he's down TP bottom. on Cheshire Cat. Oh, Grocer comes out. They're going to leave. Garter. Now they're going to get chased down. Primal Spring, Blade Fury. He needs to maybe TP out. They're going to jump to seven to Cheshire Cat. Wukong's man, there's the full burrow strike back up in one good sandstorm. He might be able to actually make it out. Another jump gonna come through. Quick has so much mana regen coming out with the bloodstone. Will get himself up to 14 charges of that bloodstone. They won't bring down anybody else. Meanwhile, Era gets the kill on Come With Me into the jungle, who was, I think, trying to help his comrades out only to die. Um, and yeah, nice TP from Ahani. Uh, gets the grave chill out on Come With Me and they catch him. This is not looking good all of a sudden for Brodota. Like, look at the number yeah, of uh, Come With Me. Ward was placed down, it's gonna be countered. DK comes in and just blows away the familiars with Starstorm and Hani's like, well, that's a minute. But now come with me getting jumped on Soul Assumption Medallion. There was a hero there. Jump in, epicenter though onto two. Back you back into wall. It's gonna be onto two as well, but already this fight maybe not going the best for NIP. Era getting low. He should fall as well, too dead, and it's time to back up and away for NIP. They wanted Sanya, they probably will get it with Electric Vortex. They need a soul assumption, another auto attack or something. They won't get it. Quakefa getting cast up as well. Death Ward gets canceled. Quakefa still might fall here, and he will. It's the Maledic that does the job. It's a three for two trade at the end. Mikke looking for the fourth. He won't find it. And Pro Dota coming out, finally having a good fight for the first time in a while. Yep, come with me with the tactical bait, just getting in there. Quite was TPing in though, he's looking for blood, but they did see him with the ward. 
Yeah, they're gonna go for this, I think. Maybe no not. man on Cheshire here. Cat the stun Oh, yet. if they can get Mika, he actually leaps away. The stun is there, the Wukong command, and the turnaround for NIP. It's not as bad as it originally looked coming out for NIP as Quick for respawns. Get his uh, they do have the Orchid now, and double damage on Koifu, and Prodota are about to walk through the yeah, ward right now. Yeah, they're gonna walk through this war that we were just talking about. Insania will be the first. Coach was gonna go for the jump, and Insania, they have the Moonlight Shadow, but boy, is he dead. They can chase after the guard, and it does actually hit. Come With Me has not been spotted, however, but they will jump for it. Very quickly, but already yeah, Prodota, Prodota coming smoked in. up. This is gonna be troublesome. The arrow will come through. It's gonna hit right under Roshan. Jump and Burrow strike on the three stun. coming through. The Star Storm. All of a sudden, this fight not looking good. Mech coming up, but it's already too late. As Trixie's down. Wave of Terror coming in. Ball Lightning. Electric Vortex. Koifa on the back lines. Picking up Mikkei, but two dead already. Now the Epi Setter coming out. Blowing away everybody. Cheshire Cat getting that double kill. A great fight. Too dangerous of a play for NIP to make. And Pro Dota respond in kind with a huge fight going their way. Yep, they'll take those four kills in Roshan now. Thanks for starting it, guys. Well played. Man, uh, the Storm, though, you can really see how strong he is in these fights. Even though his team gets three man, uh, you know, uh, Pro Strike, sorry, into the Ag Star, for, uh, Star Storm and everything. Uh, Storm's still able to solo kill Mirana in the back. Oh, if Mikkei shows him this top lane quick, he might make the, the long zip on him. Oh, he's about to, I think. Yep, there it is. Moonlight Shadow comes out. Quick has spotted him. They need detection, though. He's not there in time. Trixie didn't have any detection. Once that Moonlight Shadow comes out, there's no way they can chase. Quick has some sort of detection on him. He can go for it, but it's not there. Yep. Um, and Sandy almost has his uh, hope. They're going to catch Quick for here. God. Oh, my God. That well, is a gigantic kill. That's huge. That is huge. There's no one their storm to really go on. You know, he has no vision of these uh, people that he can actually jump in the back of Sand King, oh, which Dr. Ogre. Oh boy, he can't afford to die here. Vacuum Wukong spam wall coming out. The lag is there. Garter not to get solo. Jumping in, Koikfa gets the kill down for 80 seconds. He has buyback, mind you. Meanwhile, everyone else heeping up on the high ground. She just lags the game entirely. Son of yeah. the Cheshire Cat, he's got his Lotus Orb up, here comes Koikva, silences himself actually, uh, with the Lotus Orb, but uh, still might be able to get this kill, Sandstorm, Ball Lighting, one more auto attack will do the job, not only lose two heroes, but lose another one, oh, but Mika steals the Haze True, and Koikva's like, damn it, now I have to just regen with a Shrine, oh well. Uh, some Visage Birds to stomp him first, the Hex or stomp him after the swamp, yeah. By the way, Cheshire Double Cat damage on Garter. Oh, oh, here we go. They this have is got it. this kill. He is done. Dead for 85, and now it's time to play for Quakefa. The Shower Cat Burrow Strike away. Now they'll get the Hex up at least onto Quakefa. I mean, survive that. I thought he was dead for sure. Well, Trix is going to catch yeah, Sanya up I top. I think it's Sanya's dead. Something he mighty dead. He has no mana. Quakefa's like, I will take that Bloodstone Charge. Thank you. Alright, so, yep. Very dangerous to push up the hill like that into the uh, solar crest while he hits the base. All right now, this becomes more difficult because of those. Items. Omni Slash coming through. Era's gonna fall here. She was guard though, and already this Wukong fan doing some serious work. Quite quick in the back lines, already taking one down. Looking for Cheshire Cat as well. Swap back under Garter. Primal Sprint coming out as well. Garter is going to go down. They're gonna get Mikkei on top of all of this. They have the detection, they have the gem. Wave of Terror is there. Jump back in. Koifu will find one more auto tech, getting himself a double kill. And all of a sudden, again, NIP hold. They Error was the bait this time. Doesn't even matter. Yep, nice dies. buyback from Error. Yeah. That's what you want, right? You want you want them to go back though. Gonna go to work on the tier three tower. Up again. Double damage. Hole comes bench. out. There's the orchid as well. Buybacks everywhere. They really want to come with me. Lotus Storm comes out. Meanwhile, there's gonna be the Epi Center. They get the kill on the Monkey King. That's it for now. Over quite fast to jump away. BKB is back up. They need to leave. And uh, they will find Era, who is now going to get have a die back going his way. That is not good. Maybe staying a little bit too long for NIP, and Hani might be next as well. It looks as though they might be able to escape. More birds coming out. Stun's coming through. Nicely done from Hani. TP coming out. The arrow, he has to cancel it. Yeah, he knew. And now he's dead as well. So 76 seconds without the era of Vengeful Spirit. 68 without uh, this uh, visage. That was a bit too much of an initiation, I think, Brax. Yep, it's a good old roller coaster. Get excited, you know? Guys are going in. They're dead. Don't <laughs> worry, I got this. They buy back and they proceed to feed. 
I think that's that's probably Rax. It might be two sets. They just don't have. They only have three heroes for the next 50 seconds. Yeah, it's looking like two sets. Man, how does that happen? How do they be that aggressive and get caught? Man, that's crazy. Vacuum wall coming out for Earthquake coming in. Maybe they can take the fight. Now the Wukong's command as well. They've got all the abilities they need to win this fight. That Tower Cat, they pop the shrine as well. They might actually hold this. Moonlight this Shadow comes out. Like, when it comes out, no one can fight in this. Orchid there, but they get the stun. Good boundless strike saving the life of Koikpa. But the cast comes through. Ball running an IP, but they force out at least a couple of abilities, including the spade. But here comes Moonlight Shadow. Gonna jump right in. Trixie Abyssal bladed up. He's in trouble. Era swap out still alive. Wukong's command is there as well. Wall has not been used yet. Trixie might use it now. Looks like they might get come with me. So far, though, only one kill. Epicenter not really doing much for Cheshire Cat and Boogie. Trying to stand and deliver. So far, it's only one dead. Soul Simpson will grab two. It's three for two now, and they get Koikpa, the biggest kill of the fight so far. Ani forcing himself away. Can't fight Garter or Cheshire. With an Aegis and Cheese now, along with the Butterfly, they just picked up on Garter. They have almost all the tools necessary to take this game. Yeah, I agree. Um, Verona is closing in on the Blood Pillar. Just needs the recipe now. Thousand gold away. Out comes Verona, though they're looking yeah. now. They don't have a gem, I don't believe. Moonlight Shadow does comes out perfectly, but now Boogie getting caught. Vacuum Wall comes in onto just about everybody. Boundless Strike, the Wukai spin. Here comes Koi, but they will take down one. Garter still man fighting. Mike gets pulled in. He's done. Now Garter's going to get caught next. They have the Aegis. He's about to fall for the first time. Mike dead for 102 seconds as he just gets that blood thorn. Can Garter get out? Can they take the fight? Bro strike in. They have Koikpa caught. Now they're going to work. Electric Vortex pulling both of them. And Koikpa will fall. He's got buyback if he needs to use it. Now can they win this fight on their own? Air man fighting. Soul Assumption. Garter needs to leave. The birds. It's not enough damage. But here comes Trixie. There's the Fire Blast. The Soul Assumption. They keep him alive. It's the healing ward that does the job. And now Era has to run. Cheshire Cat with another stun in one second. The cast bouncing through. Trixie still chasing after Garter. But it looks like they turned this around. This Aegis and the Healing Ward have done more than enough. Cheshire Cat finds a double kill. Hani will go for the TV. He will make it out. Everybody has five of except for the Venge. Luckily enough for NIP, but they somehow lose that fight. It was so close. Yeah, the Healing Ward. Disgusting in that fight. Saves it. Seconds. Quick from DKB coming in. They really want this fight, but the Abyssal Blade is there. But the vacuum back in. Boundless Strike coming out as well. The stun. The Orchid is up. Can they get this Wukong spin? They want this kill on the Garter, and it looks like he will fall, but Koifa about to go down again. He does have buyback dip for 66. They're turning their attention to Mike. Glimmer Cape comes out, and here we go. Soul such a Cheshire Cat gets bashed up as well. Now Trixie running. Starstorm will finish him off, but Mike getting caught. The right click damage coming out is pretty heavy for both Hani and Boogie. They are in some trouble right now, Arrow. We'll see how through. It's the max level arrows coming oh, out. No. Stuns on the tree lines. Everybody stunned forever. And Mike finds himself a double kill. And Boogie might be next as well. The boundless trick. He wants to get in Xanya. Stick up. He's still alive. Boogie somehow can't get enough damage coming in. Jinku Mastery won't save his life. Era is too late to the party. BKB so he doesn't stun himself onto that Lotus Orb. Now the Wave of Terror swap back out. Come with me. He's got his uh, Bloodlust. He's running pretty speedily. They have Stone Form coming out. And they will get another match missile momentarily. Get these kills. So Era somehow cleans up. Maybe gets this kill. He's so tanky. The evasion. Is he actually going to live? He's got another match missile in one. Taking a Hurricane Pike into 10. And uh, come with me. Somehow might actually make it out alive. But they He's still gone. hold on at the very least. All right, so they, the Wukong's command, man, just does so much work in all these fights. Oh, my oh bots God, on the familiars. Me. Give me that bloodstone charge. All right, gem secured. <laughs> I got it back. Oh uh, man, what a fun game. Better. Yeah, oh, maybe Magic Missile secures his spell. You he seems pretty good in this game. Yeah, it does. And the strike, Boogie oh, now nice going stun. to Wukong's command. They're going to fight this. Magic Missile Garter in trouble, but he actually gets Glimmer Cape. They have to dust up Vacuum Wall coming out as well. They have the damage to Bash coming out as well. Come with me. Soul Assumption, he's done. Bro Strike coming out. DKB for Cheshire Cat. He gets bashed up, and Ani is going to work. They have that Omni Slash almost bringing down Koifu, but the rest of his team is doing the job for him. Buyback from Cheshire Cat. They've lost three. Can they lose four? Mike has already blinked and leaped out. Now Force Forward, Era Swap. No, Magic Missile is there. Now he gets sound. Rather yep. If Nip dive too hard, they may fall back into the trap of the buybacks again. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Burrow strike on a two. Perfect initiation. Now they come out. Boundless strike doing some serious work. And Koifa is going in. The birds on top of it as well. Wukong's man is back up somehow. And Garter is going to die back. 
Mike might be next. Shrine is up. They jump forward. The pull is there. And all five are dead from Pro Dota. And NIP somehow do it. They will take this game. They will take the series. Pro Dota, up until the very end, had the commanding lead. And they just couldn't finish the game off. Very exciting game. NIP had a gold deficit for over 35 minutes in this game, and they still managed to come back thanks to the, uh, I think, what turned the tides of this game was the Wukong's command. Yes. With the uh, Basher. I would Disgusting agree. in these fights. I think uh, that definitely did a very good job. It was so hard for Proto to fight into that. Um, and this is what I was talking about. It's not like he got the best start off on that Monkey King, but it doesn't matter. They had the heroes.